Yo, what's up? Vivian and I are currently traveling around Singapore for a month, and this will be our first time visiting the country, and we're incredibly excited. We documented our first few days here with the brand new Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV, so enjoy all the cinematic sample footage. Upon arriving at the airport, everyone will be greeted by the Rain Vortex, an amazing indoor waterfall inside the Jewel Changi Airport. For the first week, we decided to stay at a hotel in the heart of the city, mostly out of convenience. This is our view from the room. We're on the highest floor and I caught a pretty sick time lapse one morning. It literally went from sunny weather to thunderstorm in minutes. And that's kind of like what the weather's been like here. Humid, sun, and sometimes thunderstorms. See this little dot right here? That's the famous merlion, the half fish half lion that is the official mascot of Singapore, according to Wikipedia. You already know, we had to go down and say what's up. Kinda wish it would spit water at me though. Now, if the locals don't make it obvious, the food will. Singapore has a vast diversity of Asian culture culminating in this tiny country. While we're trying to learn the history of it, in the meantime, we'll also be consuming it, literally. Y'all already know, we already had one of the famous Hainan chicken rice. And trust, there will be more food spots we'll be hitting up during our month here. So drop some wrecks if you got some. Now all my life, I've always heard about the amazing architecture here in Singapore. And so far from what I've seen, I've heard right. These two buildings right here are shaped like durians, a popular food that's controversial for its smell. But the building themselves are actually shopping centers, and Singapore has a lot of them. Kind of broke coming here, so no shopping for me. Instead, we went to the popular Cloud Forest and Flower Dome. Most YouTube videos I've seen make them look huge, but in reality, they're quite small and it's easily explorable in a few short hours. But their scale doesn't undermine their epicness. We still got some pretty amazing shots here. Hot damn. I can definitely see why Cloud Forest is a lot of people's favorite, but if you show up for one, you might as well show up for the other. Book tickets for both. Don't sleep on Flower Forest, cause you might just catch a dragon. I'm usually not a flower guy, but I can't help myself trying to make them look as epic as possible. The new 85 to 125 millimeter true optical zoom lens on the Xperia 1 Mark IV can make some magic. I'm definitely in love with this flare shot right here. Yes, yes, I know, maybe to some of you we're doing the most generic touristy things, but hey, we're personally having a lot of fun. And this is just the first few days here, we have the entire month of May to go. So stay tuned for more of our adventures here in Singapore. Thanks for watching. Peace for now.